Hi, my name is Mary Bellavance. This is my sister Karen Lynch, my sister Barbara Story. We're the daughters of Joe McDonald, who lives at the Herrick House in Beverly on the Spectrum Unit. About three years ago, my father had a series of small strokes. He spent about a month at Mass General, and when recovering from the stroke, started having a lot of anger issues. So he had to go and spend time at a geriatric psych unit so that they could control his medication. A little over two years he's been here now, and it was a very good move for us. About three months ago, my father started to decline again. He was having difficulty walking. He was having a hard time staying awake. He was falling asleep quite regularly. And about that time, Marilyn came in and told us that maybe we should consider having hospice come in. At that point, we got a little upset because we thought, hospice, oh my gosh, is he, is he going to die? And hospice came in and sat down and explained to us that hospice doesn't always mean end-of-life care, that they can help improve his quality of life, and they have a whole array of services that they could start to provide for him. He is now walking again with a walker and not in the wheelchair at all. He is not tired anymore. He has a gentleman that comes in and visits him once a week, Mr. Prendergast, who is um, a retired veteran, the same age as my dad, and he's kind of himself again. I mean, he gets a lot of services. He's getting Mr. Prendergast, and he has a massage therapist that comes in, the chaplain comes in, there's a lady that comes in and does music with him. I mean, he's just all of these things, and he's gone from being grumpy, tired, and not wanting to do anything at all to be in the life of the party again. Anytime I knew anybody that was in hospice care, it's because they were getting ready to leave this world and hospice helped them through it. I never realized that hospice was more than just end of life care. I mean, hospice provides so many services. It, it was, we were all amazed at, at what they've done for my father. 